Hi, it's Bibiana and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new around here, you are welcome. I want to start by saying thank you to Thomas and Friends for sponsoring today's video. So Caleb recently turned three and I'm just here thinking as a mama how how do I have a whole three-year-old right now I feel like he was just born yesterday so I shared on Instagram recently some snippets because he had a little party and I just got a ton of questions even leading up to his birthday and the kind of stuff we did to prepare for it so that's what I'm going to share with you today but as you know on this channel I like to share my journey of faith of marriage and of parenting along with my husband with our young and growing family. So what I wanted to do on this video is kind of do a little talk through of like what we did on his birthday, the preparation for the party and the actual party in order to give you guys some tips on things that we do just to make birthdays a lot more memorable for our little ones. And these are our birthday traditions. So we have a ton of different things we do just to make birthdays a lot more exciting and memorable. And you're gonna see why in a moment. If you wanna throw a theme party for your little one, I really hope this video can give you a ton of ideas and inspiration too. And please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also I would love for you to comment below and let me know what your favorite birthday traditions were or which ones you might start incorporating for your loved ones. So without further ado, on to the vlog and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, let's do a few more. And this has to be one of the kids' favourite birthday traditions and it's the balloon surprise. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. So while Sam gets the presents ready, I can work on this and it's great to have the twins able to help now that they're a little bit older. Caleb always finds his way back to our bedroom, co-sleeping life. And I love Olivia's attention to detail. She's really serious about making sure it all looks perfect for her little brother. Even down to making sure the color of the balloons match the Thomas and Friends theme. So the balloon surprise is ready and I was just so excited to see Kayla's reaction. It's just a great way to make your little ones feel special and remind them it's their birthday. Should we just sing now? So basically, he's actually meant to just wake up to the balloons but this boy is enjoying his sleep right now. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Wake up. Wake up. Look at the balloons. Whoa! Can you say wow? Can you see like it? Wow! If you Look, like there's it. balloons. Do you want one? Do you the balloons? The He's so tired. Come and look! Hip! Hooray! Hip! Hip! Hooray! What's the time now? Hip! Hip! Hooray! Yay! Birthday Hulk! Birthday Hulk! Aww, happy birthday, sweetheart. Mommy, thank you. Aww, you're welcome. You like it? Hey, look, it's amazing! Oh, <laughs> this is so much fun! Another nice touch is getting personalised birthday cards and I bought these online and I was able to find them in the Thomas and Friends theme as well. To Caleb, to happy Caleb. third year birthday. We love you so yeah. much. So from, much. From Mummy. 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 Daddy Noah. Noah. Olivia. Yeah. Mummy. So meanwhile, Sam has been very busy working on Caleb's next big surprise, which is where he gets his presents. And I love this birthday tradition and where we present the gifts with everybody there. I think Sam's done an excellent job with the decoration. His birthday, is it? Mine. Is it your chain birthday? Oh, the red and red. <laughs> it's the Thomas. Okay, you ready for your surprise? Close your eyes. You have to close your eyes. One. Come on, let's Hi. go. Are you ready? Are you ready, Caleb? Um. All right, Caleb. <gasps> ready for the surprise? Open your eyes, Caleb. Open your eyes, Caleb. Surprise! Hey, what is it? Whoa! That's the track motorized Rebecca. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Thomas. You're welcome. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 
Monkey Mania Thomas. Fly off. Yeah. So that is the animal party Percy. So he had a pretty good mix of gifts, including some great educational ones too. But I have to say his favourite were definitely his new Thomas and Friends play set. I like it. This one? Alright, we'll open up that one. I'm telling you, Caleb loves trains. He cannot get enough of them. So I wasn't surprised when his siblings picked for him the Chak motorized trains. And I love the great range you can get from Toms and Friends, which are unisex both for girls and boys. We always love toys that encourage them to share and play together. And these are recommended for ages three to seven, which is perfect as the twins are five, so they can join in as well. Go monkey, go monkey, go! Yeah! And I love how the playsets have a story behind them which really gets the children engaged. So this one is where Thomas visits the monkey palace in India where the monkeys get separated from their family. <laughs> no, let's try again! So the kids work hard to free them so they can return back to the wild to be with their family and hence the big celebration when it all goes well. And as his siblings get ready to head out, this toddler is not done. The great thing about these sets is that they can be enjoyed by a single child too, which is great if, like me, you want to keep your little ones entertained without technology. It lets kids experience a world of play with moments inspired by the Thomas and Friends show. And now your little one can join Thomas on his exciting journey as they send him towards his friend, Young Bao, at the station. But first, Thomas must escape the dragon's fierce flames. After he speeds past the dragon, he'll tip forward and crash through the station, which collapses to reveal a getaway route. So your little one can enjoy a seamless playtime experience by reliving the excitement again and again. And let me tell you, Caleb, we lived it again and again. And another fun birthday tradition is measuring your kid's height. And as a parent, it's so amazing to see how much they've grown in the space of a year. We got some tall babies. Yeah, right, let's me. measure it. Let's measure you. You're a big boy, aren't you? Duh. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. Go on, Caleb, do it. Four. Well, that is three feet and seven three inches. Three foot seven, 108 centimeters. Oh my gosh, Caleb, you are three foot seven. You know, that's so funny because every time I tell people he's two, he's two, they're like, what? He looks uh, like four. <laughs> Even though it's like really big. Caleb, how old are you? And Noah's only five. Good to be tall, isn't it? I'm yes. tall. Yep. And I love making note of this in the kids' little red books, which is their health records. Yes, I'm that mum. And lo and behold, surprise, surprise, my kid is actually off the chart. At three years old and just 36 months and 108 centimeters, he is above the 99th percentile. Like he's not even on the chart. But yep, I got some tall babies. On this day, Caleb also had a nursery. So we thought it'd be nice to bring in some cake for his teachers and his friends. And this can make for a great birthday tradition too. So I got these cake toppers, which are edible. And Caleb and I, well, it's just meant to be me, but Caleb insisted on helping me. But he's itching. He's itching to grab one. So, no, Mummy, itchy. You're itchy. You want to grab one. All right, so there we go. You want to help Mama? There you go. Good job, Caleb. Which one do you want to put on next? This one. That one? Oh, that's a good one. Thomas and Friends. So we'll put each of these on the rest of the cakes. Yeah? And then we're going to take it to your school. To give it to your friends in nursery. So we were soon at the door and I was taking Caleb to nursery and then I would run some last minute errands for the party and suddenly it started raining but fortunately Caleb remembered his umbrella and this is definitely his favourite one for obvious reasons. And he just couldn't resist that puddle. Toddler life. <laughs> There were lots of calls from friends and family. It was amazing to have great grandma sing happy birthday to him. She was so sweet. Such a blessing to have this moment. Happy birthday to you. 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 Happy bir
Amen. So I love you, great grandma. Bye. 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 Amen. Bye, grandma. And another firm favorite birthday tradition is baking on the kids' birthdays. So we're baking some sugar cookies, and I'm using these train-shaped cutters, sticking with the theme here. Happy doodles! I'm proud of you. And another one. Yeah, it should be another one there. Take off. Well, I really hope you enjoyed seeing some of the things we got up to on Caleb's actual birthday, and I hope it gave you some inspiration of birthday traditions that you can try with your loved ones. But Caleb also had a party this year and I can't wait to share some of that with you at the end of this video. But obviously with any party there's lots of preparation. I love the fact that Caleb wanted to be involved with every stage including his invitation cards and I'll share with you the ones that we used. So I'm just working on the rest of Caleb's invitations for his party and what I really love is that the whole Thompson Friends range includes invitation cards as well which are really good quality. This is one we're going to be using and pretty much can fill in all the things you need for a party. They've included the envelope and what I love is they've got stickers so we've already started making some so if you use the stickers to seal the envelope and then they also have this which is these handy save the date stickers as well. You know parent life is very easy to forget. It just makes life easier when planning a party. So I'm just gonna work with Caleb to get these done. I know he's super excited to help out. I also worked on Kayla's party bags and he was so excited to help out. He really loves being involved with this party preparation. Alright, Kayla, what are we doing now? Coming back. What else should they have inside? More should crayons. It, uh, just one crayons, okay, sweetheart. What about a choo choo train? Yes. When it comes to making party bags, I try and stick with the theme as close as possible, but also try and think about the age and the gender of the children. So, some great ideas to include are bubbles, some colouring pens or crayons some sweets of course and so to stick with the Thomas and Friends theme I'm adding some of these push along trains and the great thing is there's such an amazing range unisex or girls or boys and also these mini push along trains as well I'm using these Thomas and Friends themed party bags I was able to also find these amazing stickers online and personalize them with Caleb's name and it was such a fun moment for us because he's now in an age where he can really get involved and help and I need the help, we had almost 30 to make. So finally, it is the day of the party and we're setting up before our guests arrive. Okay, let's put it up here. Yeah, yeah, go on, put this in the pizza. Good boy.
Thank you.